There was once a time when the Airbus A350 series had three variants, similar to that of the 787, the A350-800, the A350-900, and the A350-1000. However, as I'm sure you're more than aware, one of those aircraft types does not currently fly, and that would be the A350-800. What happened to the aircraft type, and why is it not flying around the world with carriers? That's something we'll explore today. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as we continue to look to grow. Let's begin by highlighting just what the A350-800 was. Naturally, a plane designed by European aircraft manufacturer Airbus with the intention to seat around 270 passengers in a three-class configuration and have a range of 8,300 nautical miles. However, it's in the aircraft that it was intended to replace where it gets interesting, especially regarding what happened to it. Airbus intended this Dash 800 to replace its A330-200. Airbus wanted the addition of the Dash 800 to bring more customers into the A350 family, and in doing so, eventually close a chapter on the A330 series. There were, though, several questions surrounding airlines that maybe were looking at A330 replacements at the time. They needed to contemplate they needed to contemplate costs around crew training, potentially the range of the aircraft, and the pricing point. For example, would it be worth retraining the crew for the 350, and all subsequent costs associated? Airbus believed, though, that with the increased range, but also the lower capacity, it may be a turning point for airlines to get them to put pen to paper. However, fast forward many years, and with little interest, Airbus went ahead and launched their A330neo, a re-engined A330CO that wasn't a clean sheet design and had many improvements for carriers to consider. New wings also featured on this new series. And ultimately, there was the Dash 800, the smaller model, and the Dash 900 being selected as the two variants, with what can only be described as a much simpler design. It left many airlines not wishing to invest in a plane like the A350-800 anymore when they had a natural-born replacement. So, Airbus finally pulled the plug on the said A350 variant in their program and moved solely with just two, the Dash 900 and the Dash 1000. Their focus shifted to the A330neo. The A330 family has been a largely profitable series for the plane maker, and continuing the production of such a family does have many great benefits. On top of that, simply making the changes to the A330neo when they already had an existing series and model to base it off meant that the pricing point could be better for customers. The A330neo was late, but it also competed to the 787 in some instances. And Boeing has continued to look to compete against the family by offering heavy discounts and pricing their plane at a position that customers cannot refuse. Hawaiian Airlines had an interesting relationship with Airbus that we actually explored only a few days ago here on the channel. They invested in the A350-800 before its eventual cancellation. When that happened, they moved to the A330neo. And then they cancelled that, eventually switching to the 787, which is where their order remains, and they're expecting this Dreamliner to be a crucial type for their future. Ultimately, yes, it would have been interesting to see Airbus produce such a variant in their 350 family. However, the positive repercussions from cancelling that and moving forward with the A330neo are too hard to pass up on for a plane maker. And thus far, it's a decision that has likely been the right one, keeping a program that is globally loved alive in a more sleek and efficient form. Airbus also doesn't have to deal with the pressure of selling thousands of units to say make it profitable. Thanks to low development costs, it will be a plane that yes, will definitely be a slow grower in terms of orders year on year, but one that will eventually even out for them. It was a low risk, high reward type, unlike maybe what the A350-800 would have been for Airbus. Now it's over to you. What are your thoughts on the scrapped A350 variant that could have potentially been the third member in the family and a much smaller plane that may have looked to replace the A330 for good? You can let us know down below in the comments. Thank you very much for tuning into this video. We greatly appreciate the support and we'll see you in two days for more aviation analysis.